Well, if you've ever had a puppy, you know how much work they can be. But if you train them right, they will be a wonderful reward in your home for many, many years, right? And training them right is what we're talking about here with our sweet friends from Cold Nose College in Murphy, North Carolina. Brad and Lisa Wagoner join us here along with, let's see, that was Cody, this is right? Cody. and Willow. This is I was Willow. trying to see which one we had on camera there. Glad yeah. to have you back yeah, with us. Thanks. You, okay. you know, every time you come on, and it's really wonderful having you as regular guests because you always bring something new um, and something that, oh, gosh, I've had dogs for years, but I hadn't thought of that. And it just makes really good sense. So right now thanks. we're talking about summertime and dealing yeah. with them. Absolutely. Um, every, the whole country has had just an incredible heat wave. And I don't know about you know everybody else out there in the viewing audience, but when it's 102 degrees, mm -hmm. um, I don't like to be out there. It's not necessarily safe, and certainly not safe for the dogs mm -hmm. to exercise. Yeah. So we have some brain games that we're going to show Good. on how to because keep your dog mentally stimulated. They still need to move, yeah. right? I mean, because otherwise they get distracted. And working right? their brains can tire them out just as much as working their bodies. Huh. Okay. You know, if I think for a, on a problem for a long time, I get tired. I do yeah. too. So okay. these guys I are, are not that would be different. The same way. Sure. And even okay. beyond the heat. Um, when she was just spayed a few weeks ago and, and she couldn't have any um, physical exercise. Mm. So I kept her busy with training and puzzle games to keep her mentally stimulated and tire her out even though she couldn't romp and roll. Mm. I, and you talk about puzzle games with dogs? Yeah. You, you ready to, to see one? That? I am ready okay. to see Could one. Wait? Yes. Well, this one is and already... But before you start, this is a good idea that's keeping her busy. Just Absolutely. This stick. is keeping her busy. It's just a oh, nice okay. uh, chew stick. It's what called kind a, is It's that? called a bully stick, and it's a dried beef product. Okay. And it's completely digestible. That's good. Uh, don't buy rawhide. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad to know that. So it's called a bully stick. A bully stick, and okay. that's a 12 inch one. It'll last uh, two or three hours. Yeah. So, yeah. That's good. So this okay. is the puzzle. It's been loaded. There are treats underneath here. Oh. I first started her out um, with only the, the pull-out pegs. Can you see it? Yeah. Look the pull-out pegs. Okay. And then there's a sliding peg. Oh. So first, we, we trained it in stages. We first filled only a few of the cylinder uh, holes and let her work that. And mm -hmm. then we filled the slider holes, <laughs> let her work that. Then we put it all together. Oh, that's and great. And it, it is on our YouTube channel. So you okay. can go to the Coldness College YouTube channel and see some of this. But we thought it'd be fun to yes. see her do it in person. Okay, Willow hey, performed Willow, for us. Have this? Thank <laughs> okay. you very much. Time to play, Willow. Yeah, I'll set that over there. Okay. You ready to work the puzzle? Come on, here we go. Come sit. Right and there you here, go. Let's sit, let's okay. sit with Wait. her. Where she's the puzzles yeah. in front of her you with go. the camera. Give your kid. Okay. Good. There you go. Right here. That work. There. Good. There. Good, good. Now we can see it. So she's pushing that with her nose. Okay. Sit. Look at that. She's learned to go through it very quickly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you can, you know, if you want to take the time to sit down with your dog, you can feed them their whole meal this way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 10 pieces of kibble, pick it up, reload it, put it back down again. We do really recommend that people feed from interactive puzzle <laughs> toys. So she's, she's, I think she's aced it already. Let's see. That uh, there's the last amazing. one. So there we and go. And she's even pushed the one up. Oh, she yeah. hasn't pushed them over yet? Yeah, she's, she's pushed, she she's pushed, pushed them all over. Everything. And she'll either do it with her nose or her paw. So each dog has a different strategy, like yeah. a person would for yeah. working a puzzle. Yeah. So then you fill it back up and wow. start over again. And there, there are puzzles with increasing difficulty. Okay. So uh, okay. we can keep, you know, raising the ante. Great for helping a dog problem solve. You know, and teaching creativity. I, I noticed a while ago you were teaching her with the little clicker thing right. that you use and the treats. Right. Um, how do you keep from giving them too much? We've got thumbs. Treats, We've got thumbs. So if she's, if I'm doing a lot of training with her, which mm -hmm. I have been, then I just reduce her normal morning well, no. and evening meal. Oh, okay. So okay. she gets, gets less at the two meals sure. in the day. What do you feed them for the treats? Um, it's a, a variety of things. Uh, we use mostly natural balance soft uh, dog food, which is turkey, mm -hmm. and cut that up into little teeny small pieces. I happen to have hot dogs today, mm -hmm. uh, but still we cut things in very small pieces so okay. they're not getting much at a time. Yeah. Pea-sized okay. uh, pea shapes. All right, because I'm not sure my dogs would really be that interested in me giving them dry dog food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not yeah. sure they would do tricks yeah. for dry dog and, food. And at, and ho yeah. at, at home, where there are no distractions, mm -hmm. we'll use their regular kibble. That's for great. training oftentimes, okay. but when you get out with a lot of distractions sure. like the TV. Yeah. She's, she's yeah. now chewing on the puzzle now, pieces. Yeah, yeah let's take that puzzle, puzzle pieces away from her. Back. Okay. So Thank another, another uh, 
interactive toy. I think a lot of people are already familiar with the Kong. Oh, yeah. Uh, Kong started out as a toy that would just bounce funny, and then people figured you could put food inside that Kong. Mm -hmm. And many times, we'll just stuff the dog's meals inside the Kong. Well, let's turn and it around them. here so he can... Well, we're not going to give Cody this one. This is just a, the oh, regular Kong. Cody's what we've got interested. today says, yeah, is, what we, is the jumbo size. We, this okay. is called yeah. a Kong Wobbler. Uh, what happens is you can unscrew the top and fill it with their dry dog food. And then when we put that on the floor... Uh, over here on this, this way, so it'll show on the camera. Cody oh. has learned to push it over, and okay. there's got a hole in there, and a piece of kibble will fall out every so often. And when it does, he'll pick it up. But he has learned, if I keep working this thing, oh. there's a oh. piece. Good job, buddy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Willow's helping. Okay. Here, can you see this? Yeah, we've got it there. Let's move him over this way. Hey, there, right there. Look at that. So he has figured out, if I keep working this, so you can put his whole meal in there instead of <laughs> the normal dog, which wolfs their meal down in 20 seconds. It might yeah. take him 20 minutes to get his whole meal out. Uh -huh. So Now, does Willow get... Uh, Distracted by that? Well, right now her bully stick outweighs yeah. what's yeah. Oh, okay. in the. It's a little bit higher oh, that's value. good. That's good because otherwise they might be fighting over. You're right, and, and that's a very good. That's a very good. Statement. If you do have a multi-dog household and you're using puzzle toys to feed with, mm -hmm. you want one for each dog, or give them their own separate space to work with. Yeah. Because yeah. you don't want competition for the toy. Right. Well, you separate them or something, right? right. Yeah. Oh, but, look at that. So these that are just amazing. And, and Cody just saw this Kong Wobbler for the first time yesterday. You're kidding. And it took him about that long to figure out, hey, I can make stuff happen. Yeah. And on the shag rug, he's Mr. Peace over there, but yeah. he'll find it. He'll yeah, they'll find, find it. it. <laughs> yeah. He'll find it. Yeah, another great game, uh, uh -huh. which is really, really easy to do, is what we call the find it game. And I'm not sure with Willow and her bully stick and Cody and his uh, Kong Wobbler, she'll do it for me. Hey, Willow, may I have this? Thank you very much. Willow, find it. Yay! Good girl. Willow, find it. Yay! Oh, she's got to go off camera oh, to get it. <laughs> hey, Willow, this way. Find it. Find it. Get it. So just get keeping it. their minds busy. Yeah. Uh, and in our house, yeah. a lot of times, we'll just play hide Shag and seek. Shag carpet is great. Uh -huh. <laughs> one of us can keep one, the dogs busy while find the it. other goes and simply Yay. maybe hides behind the door in the bedroom. Yeah. And then goes, go find. And then they start searching frantically yeah. trying to find us. And then yeah. we and throw a party when they do. Yeah, it's a really that's valuable nice. game, hide and seek, to help build the relationship for recall. Helps you with a strong recall. What do you mean by that? Recall? To, to yeah. Calling your dog to come from a distance, which oh. everybody wants yeah. and nobody wants to work on because it yeah. takes a while, okay. but um, it's great for building that relationship with your dog. When you play hide and seek, they find you. Big party, yay. It reinforces them to want to find you again. That's a great idea. Okay. But, uh, we had a dog who played hide and seek, and I just attributed it to the fact that he was really smart. But well, they do well, get, and, they and they my do get better at it. Yeah. Well, so. yeah. They do get better we at it. We have a really do. small home. There are very few places to hide. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Here's find it. Cody. Cody, find it. find it? Yeah. There you go. Oh. So other things Hi. to think about for the summer, okay. um, which many people don't if you're out walking with your dog um, on the grass and need to travel across the asphalt, we have shoes on, our dogs don't. So it's really important to think if it's hot outside, that that asphalt is extremely hot on your dog's feet. Get them across it quickly mm -hmm. and onto a place it's safe so they're not going to burn their, the pads on their feet. Yeah. Oh, and, and you know what? We don't really think about that. And the dog, it's, it's hot at 90 degrees with the sun right. yeah. coming down. And we, we, we all are aware that it gets hot inside of our cars, but sometimes we think, well, I'm just going to run in the store for a second. Don't do it. No. Leave the dog at home. Yeah. Uh, take him with you once it gets to be fall or winter time, but yeah. when Rad it gets warm outside. Yeah, you actually did a, an experiment with our own car with the windows down on one of those hot days, and in less than 10 minutes? Oh, it was over 120, 120 degrees, degrees in, in the car, car, and the windows were cracked four inches. It was just sitting in the Doesn't parking make lot. Any difference. Yeah. yeah. So don't take your okay. dog with you Good. when it's hot. Good. Leave them at home. Now, what I'm taking away from this whole little thing right here is simply just spend some time with them. Yeah. You know, there's you know, just, obviously just, we think training is oops we think <laughs> training is hugely important. Sure. But management sometimes is just as important. Yeah. Sometimes a lot easier. Yeah. And it, again, we're setting the dog up for success so that they don't get in trouble. It keeps their mind working. They're not bored. Um, they want to be with you. Yeah, they well, do. Well, yeah, and, and just, just like human relationships, the more we spend time with one another, the stronger our relationship <laughs> is, yeah. um, and the easier it is, and the same thing with your dog. Um, that's what people, I think, notice a lot from our basic manners classes. When they start working with their dog and spending more focused time with their dog, they're really amazed at the relationship and how it grows. Mm. 
Well, this has just been fun. And watching them stay so involved in what they're doing, the bully stick so, and the Kong and everything and the puzzle. And, you so know, when cool. we have guests over for dinner, the dogs get to do something as, a, as opposed to harassing our guests sometimes. Yeah, that's a good Not thing, Not that they're too. harassing our guests. But. Oh, yeah. yeah. But okay, staying busy. one question for you. I have not been able to find the answer to this. I have a dog who licks. Uh huh. And I was told, and I read somewhere, that that's a submissive sign, saying, I like you, I like you, I like you. And so then when we say, don't do this, they keep doing it. They do it even more. Mm -hmm. So how do you train that? More than likely, it's probably an attention-seeking behavior. Mm -hmm. And so when your dog does lick you and you reinforce them by petting them, she <laughs> Willow can't get to her little puzzle piece, and you reinforce them for, um, you pet them for having just licked you, then you are reinforcing that behavior and that behavior is likely to continue. Okay. So um, if you're hanging out and you don't want your dog to be licking you, give them something else to do. So prevent the unwanted behavior from happening when the, and reinforce it when it's not happening. Okay. And if it, it does happen, interrupt it and give them something else to do. Good. Quite All possibly, right. sometimes it could be your hand lotion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It could be. You never right. know. That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All Pers right. Perspiration on your skin. But it could be a lot of reasons, but oftentimes, if it's yeah. happening over and over, they're, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. they're yeah. you know, Very nosing you so. for some attention. I'm going to get me a bully stick today. Okay. <laughs> okay. Murphy, North Carolina is where you can find Cold Nose College. They have a website. They have weekend trainings. They have all kinds of wonderful offerings if you're interested. And there it is, coldnosecollege.com. And join us on website. Facebook as well. Good. Good. And thanks for being here. You're welcome. Thank thanks you so for much having for having us. It's, it's always a joy fun. to be here. It is always wonderful. And it's fun to see two happy dogs staying busy. Yeah. All right. And there goes the wobbler. There it goes. <laughs> We're back with a lot more right after this. <laughs>